You guys cleaned your trough. You're looking fat. Farmer. What's up guys, Michael from Legacy Farm here. I just finished mowing and weed eating. I have to clear all of King Kong's jungle out today because we're doing plumbing. Okay guys, so this is my pressure tank here and this is where all of the action happens as far as getting our livestock and animals clean water and also cleaning out bird dishes like drinkers and feeders and all that. So. Um, we're usually hunched over here in the grass with soap, water, and scrubbers. And uh, today we're gonna run some plumbing. So what I wanna do is basically I had to knock all this King Kong's jungle down, all of this tall stuff that's grown in over the summer. Uh, we're coming into the back half of September now. So the weather's starting to cool down. So I expect all the growth to slow as well. Uh, so that'll be good. So we've cleared this out and um, yesterday, I added this three inch piece of galvanized, this T, and then this 90 right here down to the ball valve. Um, so basically, and then I put, I was able to put my hoses back on the end of here. I've got a hookup to do four hoses, and that's how we fill, you know, the cow trough and things like that. So basically the plan is to dig down a trench here and run my plumbing, do a hard 90, along the back side of the pole barn here. Okay, you can see here's the, uh, the pipe for the drainage here that we had set in the floor. Okay, so that comes out here. Basically, we're gonna go around this or under it, whichever one for the supply lines. And I'm gonna run up this pole here on the back side to plumb in the scalder and the picker. I'll come in and I'll plumb this utility sink so we'll be able to scrub eggs from the egg mobile and we also got a two and a half gallon electric water heater so just a small one and I'll hook that into this utility sink because it's best to clean eggs with hot or warm water and then I'll continue along this side here and we'll plumb in the ice bath tank here and I'll have a little something like this rigged up Okay, and of course we'll have hoses that rinse out over here 
for the processing station. Back over here, we've got a refrigerator that needs to be scrubbed out, washed out, soap and water. And uh, I have to put that in, it works great, it just needs to be cleaned out and sanitized. And then in here through this window, I've already got the ice maker inside of the market. And when I say market, I don't mean like uh, come with your handbags and your Gucci. Uh, I mean like inventory storage, cold storage uh, for what we produce here on the farm. So that's what this building will be. And so I'm going to end up running a line along here. And I'll come up under here, these bricks, and I'll drill on the underside. And I'll poke my uh, pipe through there and plumb it up that way. So we'll have cold water supply, we'll have hot water tank, a utility sink, and uh, we're going to be full functioning operation here.
Okay guys, so I just finished stubbing the pipe through in the market, through the floorboard. So basically what I've done up to this point is I've run about 40 feet in an underground trench of three quarter inch diameter CPVC, okay? For each joint or junction, I cleaned both the ID and the OD of the mating piece and I coated both of the ID and the OD in the cement because it's my understanding that you're not just gluing two pieces of pipe together but that you're actually cold fusing them, okay? So cold welding. So basically what I've done is I've finished the underground portion and the trench and I've just turned my water line back on and now I'm just checking for leaks. I've pressurized the system, I bled out the air and now I'm just looking for pinhole leaks or cracks or anything like that. Everything seems to be in order to me. This is the pressure tank here, the flow out valve, and then we come across here. This is to like the yard hoses, okay? So this is like where we do the cow trough and clean other stuff with these hoses. So basically I added this piece here, teed off, came over 90 down and then I put in that ball valve came down further transition to the CPVC okay and then ran my lines 90 over all the way up to the market right underneath or right next to the ice maker and this one here is gonna ride up this rail over and plumb in the picker and the scalder over there behind it. Okay. So I'm done with all of the underground stuff. I'm going to move into the overhead stuff probably tomorrow. This is the drainage pipe that they put in when we had the drains installed when the concrete was poured. So as you can see, I dug under that. So I just used three quarter inch CPVC. CPVC seems to do well in hot or cold and also holds up a little better against UV rays uh, when you compare that to PEX pipe. So I didn't do PEX and I didn't do full galvanized. I went with the CPVC right in the middle of the road and I've gone through and I've touched every single one of these 90s and couplers, joints, anywhere that I had to apply the CPVC glue or cement. I've gone through and touched and I'm just waiting like 15, 20 minutes. I'm just waiting to see if anything springs a leak. So it looks to me like everything's good. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and then I'm going to rake over all the dirt and put my yard back together. Okay guys, I skipped a little bit ahead of you and I went and I backfilled all of the underground work that I did and then I ran a little bit of the overhead. Let me show you what I did. So as you can see, everything's put back together here, raked over. Can't even tell any work was done. Up under here you can see the pipe I stubbed through the market. What I did was I ran the three quarter inch CPVC up this pole here, 90, well I did a T here, and I went across over to the picker, down, let me show you here. So I teed off there, came over, put a slip ball valve in, came down, hooked my hose up to the picker, and same with the scalder. So now we've got electric and water to both the picker and the scalder. You can see that there. Ball valve. <clears throat> Over here above the T, I've gone up a little higher and 90 over just up under my roof. I did two 90s here. Okay. 
and now I'm coming across on this side okay so I ran the line here little hot water tank and utility sink here not cleaned out yet never mind that continuing on back over here for the ice bath okay so I just came down I'm getting ready to put another slip ball valve on and over here beyond the vac packet at the processing table where most of the work is done uh, I did this piece of oak across here screwed into the poles and uh, I'm gonna run some plumbing across that as well and hose this down for the washout also while I was at Lowe's I picked up a couple of lights LED lights and uh, I'm gonna be replacing these low hangers here and making it look clean and bright clean and bright the trick here is to cut these as square as possible We started getting our first eggs. Hooray! <laughs> what? You gotta mess my video up, bro? Okay guys, I got all of the plumbing hooked up and I want to show you guys where we're at with everything. So check this out. Utility sink here. Boom. Look at that. Decent water flow there. Good water pressure. We got hot on the left. Hot is always on the left. Cold on the right. Nice utility sink, set up, table, little phone charger here with electricity. Boom, we got the vac packet. Come over here, you can see this is the back side where I ran the three quarter inch CPVC. All the way around, came up this way. Now I wrapped this in <coughs> uh, black tape. It's not plumbing, not plumber's tape, uh, but just a black tape because on this west side, west side, the sun sets over here. Uh, when it comes back in the afternoon, that sun gets hot. And so it's really important to protect CPVC from UV rays. So I wrapped it. Here's our little valve here. So let me show you this. We got water here on the picker. Boom, water flow. We got electricity. Boom! Operational, guys! We're operational right now. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this water flow. Look at that. And I can increase it. Look at that. Splattered all over my lens. Thing of beauty. So we teed off. Boom. Came over. Down. Hooked up the hose. Boom. Came over here. Down. Hooked up the hose. We got the scalder on lock. Let's see. You can do it, Michael. There it is, filling up. You got the float valve right there. Scalder over here, draining out this side. All you gotta do is close this. If I can do it. Goodness. Close that. Fill up the scalder.
Boom, good pressure. I can increase it, of course. The back side, I wrap this pole in the tape as well, being on the west side. West side, trying to protect from those UV rays. And I still need to put this insulation around the pipes here. I got some foam insulation so the pipes don't freeze over in the winter. Okay, T-joints. All of this is pressurized and the air's been bled out. So I'm really happy to see like there's no pinhole leaks or anything like that coming from the joints. So really good stuff. Strap it. Okay, here we go. This is the, for the ice bath here. You can turn it on here, a little bit of pressure. Comes out both sides. Boom. Good to go. We got a little hot water tank down here. Okay. And over here, the processing table. I showed you, here's our valve here. And then I did this nice sturdy piece of oak across the two poles, strapped it in place. And uh, I just got these short, short hoses here. You don't need anything too much. And then uh, the controls with the thumb here. So all in all, pretty good setup. I think it looks great. Uh, it's kind of low profile and very functional. So we're gonna have ourselves a little, uh, little shindig over here. Okay guys, that's it for this video. The ice maker and the market are gonna be a separate video because I have to run electrical. So I went to Lowe's and I got all of my single gang nailers. Got 11 of those. So in order to have the ice maker hooked up, there's gotta be electricity. So that, that'll be its own separate video. All right guys, thanks for watching. That's it on this one. We'll see you in the next one. What are you doing, silly bears? What are you doing? What are you excited about? Huh? What do you say to the audience, huh? Not too much screen time. Oh, okay, all right, you guys gotta watch that.